Hi there, Delroy again from Eastway. I've just come to an industrial estate. I've done some work here before. They said um, the sockets keep tripping the RCD. So I'm going to get in there, have a look, see what's happening and uh, see if I can sort it out. Woo, what's going on? Uh, not really sure. Uh, uh, oh yeah, so something keeps tripping the RCD, yeah? Just just these sockets. Uh, Wait, which ones? Th th these ones here. I, I can show you the switch on the board. Yeah. What that they correspond yeah. to. Um, oh. Yeah, you see that switch there, the second from the top on the right? That's the one that keeps tripping. Right, okay. Okay, okay. And, uh, so we've got, like I've gone through, I mean we all have at some stage or another like gone through every individual thing that's plugged in there to try and see mm. if can isolate it, but I haven't really been able to figure it out. Okay, okay, um, okay. Sometimes nothing happens. Alright, okay, so, 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 so um, is it any particular socket you use or it's every socket? It's, it's, it's any one of those on that part of the... On this? circuit yeah, yeah any one of them okay and um it doesn't matter what you plug in yeah I, actually to be honest I, I i i'm not sure if it's a specific socket or because what it is um sometimes it's it could be a fault on something you're plugging yeah, into yeah. it but anyway let's have a look at it let's see what's see what's yeah, going on oh, so it's this one here yeah okay Oh, it's the ground floor sockets. Right. Number of points five. That's one. If I remember, there's some sockets along here behind these clothes, isn't there? Aren't there? Yes. Right, see I need to, because it says ground floor sockets and there are five sockets on the circuit. Here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple there. Yeah, there's one just here. Yeah. And there's another one over here. Yeah. Three on the list. Good. One in here. So far we found three, haven't we? Two on this wall. Two, sorry? We've got one behind the fridge here. All right. That one, there's two over there. Okay, so and that's definitely not working, the one behind the fridge. This is it's all part of the same. Okay, so there's yeah, that's five then. Two, four, and one up. There's one up there. Yeah, there. okay, cool. Alright, let's it's done in pyro. No, like nothing's plugged in it now. Nothing's plugged in. No. It wouldn't trip. It's when you put something in. Yeah. Oh, well, well, put something in, yeah. And, and, and even, but even then, it might not trip for a few days or something. You know? Oh, intermittent type yeah, of thing. All right then. Okay, no worries, no worries. Leave it. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a complete test on the circuit to see what I'm getting. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. resistance not very good to earth let's say face to earth let's see what we get <laughs> bloody hell yep bad all round <laughs> from the look of it it's not gonna be a proper sort of ring because look, look at all this you can see because you've got one cable there, I don't think it's a four core. Because they could do it using a four core. You've got one here, one over there, and then it goes into the trunk in. It goes over there into the trunk in. Um, I think I'll take off one of these. Actually, yeah. The trouble with these places is uh, they're okay whilst they're working because the way it's been wired, when they go wrong, they go wrong. <laughs> not easy to find well it's not conventional right so that's clear right so right so that's clear 
Es jūtu tas liekas, ka jā. Right, so that's the 40 leg. Try the neutral. Yeah, that's the 41. Did I check the neutral on this one? Right, okay. That leg is clear. These two are 40. If I go back to the fuse board now and see if I can find out which leg is um, 40. Alright, 40 neutral, clear neutral the other one, okay, that one there, that's the 41. So, that's my 41, so what I can do is um, reconnect and see what I've got working. Right, I've got one leg connected. And I've got my socket and C in, so I know that's working. So let's go find out what's not working. I wouldn't be surprised if it's one of these, surprised if it's one of these old pyros that's causing the problem. Right, okay, so that one's working. All right, that's not working. Mm, what's weird? That's not working. Alright, okay. It's not working. Alright, so that's the only one that's working. Mm. Uh, so, what's that telling me? Difficult of me, I always write, write them down. It's in case I lose track. Okay, so. Ah, look. One of these is a spur. Look, that's, what's this? It's probably the pyro going over there. Or something, yeah. Right, let's disconnect. I remember the guy told me this was wired from, this was rewired, I think from the, is it the 70s or early 80s, something like that. Oh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, before I go there, I'll check out the fuse board, see if that's cleared it now that I've disconnected that. Still there. Okay. Let's see if it's still here. Right. right, so now I've done the disconnection there. This leg is clear. Right, so I've just done a continuity check. This is the one that goes over to the to the socket over that side, right? So there, there, this, these should be clear. Oh, man, it's such an awkward place to work. Yep. the pyro. Oh, pyro's clear. Sweet. Yep, there we go. Yep, cool. Okay, so, right, so I, what I can do is reconnect these two and then we should be getting somewhere. All right, let's have a look. Right, so I've done a connection there. 
switched on the connection there. Let's switch this on. Ah, oh. yep. That's so I know I've got others working now. So the connection is done over there behind them clothes. Yeah, but I I had a feeling that would be working because the pyro comes here, and I've got a feeling this one could be working as well. Yep. That's fine. And I've got a feeling this one is the fault is gonna be not working. Yep, no, yep, just as I thought. So this one's not working. <coughs> so this one is working. Those two over there is working. This one's working. So that's the 40 leg. So that obviously goes over to that one. So once I find the 40 leg here, then everything should be sweet. Right, so there we are. But, um, well, I just about got this socket off because look at that screw. This one here is it's well worn. So, but there's another spur. Something else is spurring from this ring. So there's more than five items. Right, so now I'm back at the board. I've come, I've disconnected that last socket. There's a spur going away from it, so right so that's clear that's cleared up so what i'm thinking is whatever is being spurred from that socket is the problem i haven't checked it i am tested at that point yet i'm going to do that now right so i verified that the, the the other leg at the fuse board is clear so now i've disconnected that socket there this one should be clear so that's clear. That's clear. Okay, cool. So that's what I was hoping for. So now what I'm gonna do is put them together and I can find the pair over there and it's going to make my life easier. The socket behind the clothing where I found where I got working and then the other set I found were clear. I clipped them together, went over to the, the last one that I'm working on and I found that pair. So I know, I know the pair that's going from that socket to the last one. So what I'm gonna do is go back to that one and find out the pier that's coming back to the fuse board. So I've linked the phase in neutral together. So when I go there, I should get a ring. I went and got my continuity texture. Okay. So, try not to confuse you. This is what I've done. Remember, I've got this one, these two working. That was the set that was 40. Disconnected over there, over there. These two come up clear, so I'll put them together. Went over here. Right, uh, went over here and found these two, yeah? So this is the pair that's going over there, and they, they're clear. Well, they should be clear because they're clear over there. I haven't tested them out. So what I want to do is find out the pair that's going back to the fuse board. So they should be clear. And then Bob's your uncle. Okay. Right. So by my reckoning, and I'm just directing, this should be 40, those should be clear. I'm expecting that this is the faulty pier. 
so let us see yes yep so we say so i'm saying the other two pairs should be okay and then i can reconnect the ring oh no <laughs> oh that happened the last time didn't it and i thought it was Yeah, is that up on the last time? Because these, oh, look, let's see if these are clear. Yeah, those two are clear. This should be the pier going back to the fuse board. Oh, I guess there's something something else Hold up. ah no of course it's gonna be you know what <laughs> i forgot to take the, the clamp off <laughs> that's why it's short i forgot to take the clamp off <laughs> i put the clamp on to find it find the pier but forgot to take it off <laughs> so that's it that's correct Correct, Mundo. So, this should be clear. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, wherever this pier is going, that's for this. Because I'm going to connect this, connect that, and all the sockets should be working without tripping. Right, so everything's been reconnected now. So let's check the ZS's. sorted just your regular for finding no big deal it's all sorted hopefully it shouldn't be tripping um, I put like I said I put though that socket in connectors if he wants me to change it I'll come back and do so so thanks for watching see you next time <laughs>